Uh, good evening, uh, my name is Eugene Lynch uh, from Caventown Kiltus and the Ed Reby Festival Committee here in Cavan, Ireland. And on our behalf, I'd like to extend my condolences on the passing of Joe to his daughters, uh, Mayor and Cara, and to son-in-law, Randall, and his adorned uh, grandchildren, Kyra and Sabrina. Uh, also to his brothers, George, and his sister, Eileen. I only met Joe on uh, one occasion uh, but I spoke to him on the phone also and that occasion was in 2016 when he came and visited us here in Cavan and spent a couple of days with us. Um, it was a wonderful experience for ourselves to meet up with Joe. He was a lovely, lovely man, uh, full of energy, uh, full of enthusiasm, uh, especially for his father's music but for all things cultural, uh, but in particular his father's music and we knew that uh, from the wonderful work that he had done and completed along with people like his brother Ed and uh, Rick Maloney in the past in um, compiling the compositions of Ed and uh, putting them into written form for the rest of the world to enjoy and to use. And um, he had a great, great passion for the music and it's such a sad loss to see him pass on but uh, we know that his legacy and that of his father's and his wishes to promote his father's music uh, continues. It is spread throughout the world and he has completed what he really wanted to achieve, the promotion of his father's music. And uh, we in our little way do what we can uh, to uh, honour Ed Senior and to uh, pay tribute to the work of Joe in promoting Ed's music. And it's lovely to think that no matter where you go throughout the world, there's a piece of cavern will travel with it in that whenever a Reavy tune is played, so many of them are named after places here in cavern. And I think Joe was instrumental in ensuring that that was the case in naming many of the tunes, such as Killing Carolasses and, um, you know, uh, Mudjabon Chapel, the church beside where Ed Senior grew up and where he would have been baptised and it's the name of one of the well-known tunes of uh, uh, Reefy. So throughout this video later on you will see some tributes um, from people like Anton McGowan and from Kathleen Fay. Kathleen's dad, uh, Pat Clark, would have taught Ed Senior how to play the fiddle before Ed emigrated. So there's a long link and long connection there. Uh, people like Marcus Amoroku and um, it also, the um, <coughs> Kathleen and Tommy Fay's family will play uh, one of the tunes that Ed wrote in honour of Pat Clark, uh, called Pat Clark's Fancy. Um, Anton McGowan will also speak on the video here and will play a slow air, uh, Roisin Du. And then there will be other little clips and some photographs, some family photographs from yourselves, many photographs from the visit that Joe um, did in 2016 and a number of clips from uh, musicians around the area and from uh, some programs that we've done on RTE in promoting the music. And at the tail end, you will see the um, three of the Ed Reavy International Fiddle Players um, playing a selection of Reavy tunes. And um, we will continue our work and we will continue to promote uh, Reavy's music, which is what Joe wanted and we're delighted to do that. We look forward to continuing the work and we look forward to continuing the engagement with the family in America and the extended family. And hopefully maybe someday some of us will come across to Philadelphia and spend some time with you and meet up with you and um, chat around. So I hope you enjoy our tribute. Thank you very much for having us um, involved in the event in the celebration of Joe's life. May he rest in peace. Aryesh J. Gorawa Anand Dilish. Tommy and I were deeply saddened by Joe's death. He was a wonderful husband and father, a devoted son who did Trojan work compiling and publishing Ed Senior's music, which we play regularly as a family. We remember with great fondness his visit with Ed Senior and Father Marcellus Murphy 
to my father in 1969 before he died and also his visit in 2016 when I was privileged to play Ed's music with local musicians at Mudjabon Chapel. Our families have been friends for over 100 years. My father, Pat Clark Nockbride, was Ed Senior's fiddle teacher before he departed to the USA. Ed Junior and Mary have spent many holidays with us in Dublin and Coutail. We visited Philadelphia in the 90s and were delighted to meet all the Reavy family while we stayed with Ed and Mary. We wish to extend our sincere sympathy to Maura, Cara, Kira, Sabrina, son-in-law, sister Eileen Carr, brother George and sister-in-law Mary Reavy, extended family and friends, on the very sad occasion of Joe's memorial. He will be greatly missed. May his gentle soul rest in peace with his beloved Mary Jo. May God comfort you all in your grief and sad loss. Tommy and Kathleen Faye, Nee Clark, Lisley, Coutil, County Cavan. May you rest in peace, Joe. Hello and greetings to all of the wider Reavy family. This is Anton McGowan, or as some might know me, Tony Smith. And I want to join with you in spirit in this celebration of Joe's life. Joe had a long and very fruitful life in which he contributed greatly to Irish traditional music 
through his notation and publication of his father's composition, thereby making them available for the enjoyment and enrichment of the Irish music community. Joe was ever helpful in his music and I remember many years ago when I was younger and I wanted to write an article about Reavy, probably the first article that was written about him in Ireland. And I wrote to Joe for help and information, not knowing him or he not knowing me, but he was so generous and helpful in sending me on material for the article. And I want to remember in this because we often think of Reavy and Joe and the publication of the tunes, but I also want to acknowledge and remember that Joe was a very fine fiddle player in his own right and played many tunes. And we had uh, great memories of the time he visited back at Mudjabon and played with us and with all the young Cavan musicians on the little bridge at Mudjabon Chapel. We have great memories of that. And of course, back here in Cavan, we were always very proud that Reavy was Cavan. So uh, I want to join with you in spirit, as I say, and pray and hope that Joe will have a seat in a nice musical corner of heaven. Good night, we live. Now, I'm going to play a little air for Joe. This is called Roisin Thu. Uh, my Dark Rosaline, and it's uh, a song about Ireland. It comes from the time when poets couldn't mention the name of Ireland in songs, so they wrote about girls and places and gave Ireland different names. And uh, this is a lovely air, and it was also used by Sean O'Reilly as the theme music in his film, Misha Era, The I Am Ireland. So here we are. <laughs> I'm delighted to get a chance to express my thanks and opinions about a lovely family, about the Reavy family, the family of Ed Reavy Sr. Uh, the ones that I knew were uh, Ed Reavy Jr. who gave me this book in 1983. I just finished a tour of America and Canada with Coltus Kjotri Aaron. And um, Joe Reavy, of course, sent me over some tapes of himself playing Ed's tunes and I passed them around the various provinces of Ireland. I sent them to James Byrne in Donegal in Ulster and Ben Lennon in uh, Connacht and Noel Hill down in County Clare and Connor Tully in uh, County Galway and uh, various other people around the country that people would make a difference. So to help uh, express our interest in the music and this 
book that I was given by Ed was uh, signed for me by Ed himself, but it's also signed by several other composers, Tommaso Cannon from Derry and Charlie Lennon from Leitrim and Jackie Daly, uh, Anton McGowan, great uh, fiddle player, Anton McGowan, of course, Jackie Daly from, from Cork. And it was also signed by Kathleen Fay, a daughter of Pat Clark, who had been a moonshore, the teacher for Ed Reavy Senior, whenever he started off. So um, there's Eddie Kelly's signature in it as well. So the music has been played by a lot of people. This book has been handled by a lot of people. And um, I have great memories of uh, Mary and uh, Ed Jr. coming to Ireland over the years. We always met up at the Flag Hill and they always asked me to play for them. I remember in the Main Street in Willie Clancy Summer School in County Clare playing for them after my class and uh, them dancing in the street and playing for Mary at the uh, Ed Reavy Festival in Cavan in the, in the fall, in the autumn, which I uh, was involved in, have been involved in since its inception. And I've given several talks about Ed and Ed's music, uh, along with Anton McGowan and Martin Gaffney and people like that, and Athena, Athena Turgis and Brenda Castles. So it's been a wonderful experience, wonderful to know the family. And I remember playing with those musicians. We played Mojabon Chapel in the chapel itself. And out in the grounds, we played for Mary dancing, uh, Mary Ed's, um, Ed's uh, daughter-in-law, which was fantastic, absolutely wonderful to do uh, for Ed, Ed's uh, junior's wife. So I'm going to play um, a tune or two now, uh, composed by Ed. Before I forget also that uh, a great friend of mine, Eugene O'Donnell, that lived in America for years and came back to live here in Derry. I've been set settled in Derry for 30 years, alone from Belfast. Uh, Eugene would talk very highly of Ed, as did Sean Maguire when we lived in Belfast and played together. So it's a, it's a big continuum of music and I always think I've got very positive thoughts when I'm playing their music. So um, I'm going to play The Shoemaker's Daughter. My grandmother, Bridget McPartland from County Roscommon, from Ballyfarnan in Roscommon, was a daughter of Pat McPartland, who was a great dancer, just like Ed Jr. was. So this is The Shoemaker's Daughter, start off and maybe uh, what's it? We don't know, maybe um, the Fisherman's Island or something afterwards. But God bless all the Reavy family. <laughs>
sending my deepest condolences to the entire Reedy family. I have uh, great memories of Joe, and um, one in particular happened right there in Cavan at the Ed Reedy Festival when Mick Maloney brought myself and many other great musicians together for the to play at the festival. And uh, Joe was just so generous and telling stories and sharing his music and just what a wonderful custodian of this incredible legacy um, of the Reedy family. And I'd love to play a tune of Ed's uh, in Joe's honor. It is one of my favorite airs of his called the Corn Crake. And uh, while the Corn Crake is no longer in the Republic of Ireland, it is alive and well on the island of Tory, as I came to know um, when I was out there and heard it cracking away. And uh, just as Ed's spirit is alive and well in our hearts and we're uh, forever grateful for um, everything he, he did to share his father's music and his own. Here's to you, Joe.
Carolina, and I took some classes with this Kane, um, who taught me a bunch of Ruby tunes, and then I became kind of obsessed with his tunes and learned a bunch online. Um, and and when I, I'm from Canada, but when I moved down to Philadelphia to be with Rose, um, one of the first afternoons that I spent in Philadelphia was her playing me, just totally geeking out on every Ruby tunes. And the first one that she taught me was House of Hamill. And then when the two of us were starting to perform together in and around Philadelphia in the northeastern U.S., we needed a name for our band, and because it was the first tune she taught me, we decided it would be a good tribute to just call the band House of Hamill. And I believe that's how Eugene found us and got in touch with us, was just yeah. by seeing hashtag House of Hamill on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And coincidentally, we happened to be here in Ireland this week, and finishing up in Dublin this morning, so we jumped on a bus and came up here for the day. walk around this room and like read all of the history and like see pictures from him being at like the Commodore Berry Club in Philadelphia which is like where we go there all the time so it's just very surreal and amazing and it's, it's an honor to be here and uh, I think what we both love so much about Ed Reby's tune is that as everyone knows they're just very unusual tunes um, and we just really enjoy playing them. Yeah as I mentioned the last tune that you heard the, the C naturals and the C sharps it seems like it's a very common thing in his music, and it's a difficult thing as composers of tunes ourselves. It's easy to be weird for the sake of weird, but it's hard to find those accidentals and those unusual notes and make them fit into the flow of a tune in a natural way, which Ravi was obviously a master of. So, yeah. so we're going to play the House of Hamill. Which also goes from G naturals to G sharps. <laughs>
Cooling Tower, played by a girl purely on the guitar. Seamus Tierney, the concertist, James McGovern, the concertist, Emer Connolly, the fiddle, and Emer Mulahany on the fiddle as well. There. They're all here in Studio A, just to mark the occasion because the Ed Reedy uh, Traditional Music Weekend is on in Cabin Town next weekend, so they've popped down. here in Studio 8 for tonight's programme. Thanks indeed to Eugene Lynch who was here, Maeve Sherman and indeed Katie Gallagher who sang a song for us. We're going to leave you with a selection of tunes from the band indeed. We're going to leave you with a selection of tunes from the band www.cabintownporpus.ie is the place you'll get all the information for the Ed Reedy Traditional Music Festival. Uh, on sound for RTE with Tom Norton, from producer Aidan Butler on for me, Kieran Hanahan. Until next time on Kelly House, Snarl the Foil. <laughs>
think, are we sticking with the same ones? Yeah. I think we heard a few of them played earlier, so if you could just pretend that you didn't hear them, that would be great. <laughs> um, we're going to start off with uh, In Memory of Coleman, um, then Maudibon Chapel, and finish with The Hunter's House. So three great reggae tunes that we play regularly, but I've never played together before. So fingers crossed. And uh, congratulations again to Jason. Thank you. Fingers and feet crossed uh, <laughs> here and that's it. Thank you. 